Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cristiano or Triple T, and if you're new here, welcome. So, as you may notice, I am in a new background filming my intro because it's nighttime and I didn't film my intro in the car, I forgot. So, here we are, and the past week has kind of been a little hectic. I went on vacation, I am a school nurse, so I get all those breaks that the children have off in school. So we took a little trip down to Florida, you may have noticed because on my community tab I posted a little short video of me doing a scratch off because my tire exploded and went flat on the highway driving to Florida. So I pulled over while waiting for AAA and got a scratch off ticket at the gas station. <laughs> so. Anyway, a little bit of bad luck, but the trip turned out to be fantastic. We went to the Daytona 500 just on a whim, and it was phenomenal. I didn't think I would like it, but I really want to go back next year. So it was great. We went to SeaWorld. We went to Disney World. We did a bunch of fun things. And now we are back and ready to dive into those dumpsters. So stick around, and let's save the world one dumpster at a time. Bath and Body Works dumpster. Nothing in this dumpster. Bed, bath, and beyond dumpster. Ooh, yikes. That's a broken mirror. All right. Nothing this time. Ulta dumpster. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of Burt's Bees. Oh, I'm gonna have to jump in there. But I don't know if I can because there's so many people here. All right, I'm gonna try and do my best. I'm gonna see what I can get from this corner. You'll see at the end if I get anything. If not, hopefully another diver is more gutsy than I am. There is literally a restaurant right here and there are people like outside. So it's kind of scary to jump in with people watching you. I know I should be more ballsy, but it is what it is. I didn't get footage of this dive, but this was my final dive at Periwinkle Boutique because it officially closed. So, so I, I got a bunch of these Brighton bags. I'm not sure how I'm going to utilize them, but I feel like they could come in handy. They are little drawstring bags and they're super cute, but I have so many, so I'm probably just going to donate a bunch and hopefully someone could get some use out of it. I got nine of these bandeaus. They are in size medium and they are $13. So that was a pretty good score. A tin, not a tin, a metal Jack and Missy bin, which can be used for papers, and then these plastic bins. So a small but interesting score from Periwinkle Boutique. This is what we got at the Party City dumpster. <laughs> Sorry, my new puppy is barking over there and wants to get out. Anyway, Zeusy, stop it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it was not much of a haul, but it was still pretty good because we got a few useful things. So we got this Paw Patrol bucket, which is super great for my daughter. She loves Paw Patrol. Then we have two milk chocolate Hershey Kisses bags, one in purple and one in blue. Then we got these Major League Baseball balloons. We got a pack of fake rose petals. We've got this Olaf pinata. He is missing an arm, but that is okay. Then we got a bag of Haribo gold gummy bears. We got 48 maze puzzles, which is super cool. 
Then we have more Hershey Kisses, just in the regular Hershey Kiss bag. We got a gummy remote, which is nutty. Look, I let him out, and now he wants to eat everything up here. Zeus, sit down. <laughs> So this gummy remote is super cool because my family and I are getting into video games these days. We are loving our Nintendo Switch. So I'm super stoked about this. It's pretty funny. <laughs> then we got this princess drawing book type thing, which is great, an activity kit. We have this hello baby sign, which is so cute. We have this secret snow prize, which is elf on the shelf, elf pets. And I love it. I got my daughter four of them without finding them in the dumpsters. I actually bought it. And they're super cute. You pour water on it and it, it has like snow inside. It creates snow. It is so neat. And then one of the little figurines are in the middle. So it's super, super cute. Then we have this confetti balloon, light up balloon bag, which is so neat. These balloons have lights in them, which is really cool. I can't wait to use those. Then we got this congrats wedding bag. We have a pink heart balloon. We've got four Star Wars little goodie bags and this soccer team number one champs tablecloth, which I'm going to use on this stained table because the wood is like all water stained. Anywho, pretty good score from the Party City Dumpster. I forgot to mention these bubblegum balls. My daughter is obsessed with working for a coin for her gumball machine, and these are perfect to refill her machine. So I was super stoked finding these so we could use them. This is what we got at the Ulta dumpster. All of those Burt's Bees chapsticks were rolled up and cut off. They broke them off and it was so, so, so heartbreaking because those chapsticks are phenomenal. And I jumped in and went in to go get them, but they were all destroyed. But I'm so happy I did because I got all of these things. So all the Stila stuff are testers. So they did not destroy them. They are touched. So you can see people's fingerprints in those highlighters. And over here, there is like a fingerprint in this uh, tinted moisturizing balm. So they are tested, but I will disinfect them and make them brand new. And I am so stoked because Stila is such a great brand. So we have four mascaras over here, a Magnum, a huge waterproof and non, as well as a stay all day mascara. We've got a Stila brush over here from the uh, display. So this is a little bit of glue. On this side, it looks just fine. Then we have this Stila eyeliner, which is in Vivid Sapphire. We have two of these Stila liquid eyeshadows, which are gorgeous. We have a Stila One Step Correct Brightening Primer. So those are all the Stila products that we got. So yes, they were touched, but I can definitely disinfect them to make them new. All right, moving on to the things that were in the soup bag. So we have three of these Philosophy shower gels, one in peppermint stick, one in fresh cream, and one in snow angel. The snow angel one smells divine. I am so excited to use these. Then this is like a mega, mega score because we got so much perfume. A Versace Crystal Noir, which is fantastic. It is pretty much brand new. Maybe used just a very slightly, but amazing, amazing find, as well as a Gucci Flora. Fantastic, that feels completely full as well. A NARS Foundation, a bunch of bobby pins, an Urban Decay 24-7 Black Eyeliner, a tiny brush, a, this one's super dirty, I still have to clean it better, but this is a cleansing balm and it is brand new on the inside, just the foundation that they poured in the soup bag got all over it. We've got a brand new Nailtopia nail polish. This is a nail filer. These are spray travel size perfumes and they are amazing. So they're all in the brand Pin Rose. And I never heard of it before, but this one smells so good, just like vanilla sugar cookies. This one is in Secret Genius. I have one already at my job in my desk. 
This one is called Pillow Poet, and this one is Wild Child. So this score was pretty fantastic from the Alta Dumpster.